Hola familia, my name is Ray Olmedo. Uh, entering the month of July today, recording day is July 1st. So, uh, so as I always say, God has walked us all the way here together and uh, still in his path, which is great news for all of us. So welcome to the month of July. Today I'm, I'm going to be talking about this word that's been in my ear, in my, it's been in my heart and it's just like I keep on going back to this word and it's deliverance. And uh, it's something that we're very familiar with, but I really didn't know exactly the whole uh, meaning of it per se um, until I did this Devo. I mean, you know, I kind of enriched my knowledge about it. So let me, uh, let's define it. So what's the definition of deliverance? It's the action of being rescued or set free, or set free. So if you're anything like me, when you hear the word deliverance, my mind goes directly to the book of Exodus, specifically Exodus 14, 14th, when we see this amazing deliverance being executed by God for his people, right? When he opens the Red Sea and allow them to cross. So let's read about that. So that's, we find that story or that uh, event on Exodus 14, verses 21 and 22. So then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. And all that night, and made the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground, and the waters were a wall to them on their right and on their left. And as many times as we, as we probably have heard of this or read about it or study about it, uh, I probably have been in the past 16 years twice in the book of Exodus, and uh, this always blows my mind. And uh, when you see the hand of God working and executing that word deliverance over and over for this moment to happen. So let me take you back a little bit. This is what I did in my mind. All this story for us, or at least for me, I'm gonna take it all the way back to when Moses was a baby and he was on their um, this sentence of being killed and his mother preserved his life, put him in the river. Marianne, his sister, follow uh, his brother on the river until it reached, uh, until it landed or, you know, it was found by uh, Pharaoh's daughter, I want to say, and his life changed and he was raised. And then we know the story of Moses, right? And then we know the calling that God has for him, and his calling was for the deliverance of his people, God's people. But started it many years ago when, when you know, everything was set in place for that baby to survive. And uh, it got me wonder, like, when I, when I look at this season in my life right now, uh, I can't wait to see, although I'm not too happy about this season, I don't really have to be if I trust God and, and his purpose and the deliverance that he has for my request for my family. So I, 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 I can't wait to go to that moment when I can go back and see all the things that he was placing in place, for a lack of a better term, um, for the deliverance that I'm praying about to happen. So my trust is in that promise and uh, in what I'm reading in the Bible. So I came across this book. It's called The Red Sea Rules. And uh, it's available uh, free in audio book on YouTube. So the rule number eight, these are 10 rules, right, that uh, the writer give us uh, about overcoming and persevering in our faith. So rule number eight is trust God to deliver in his own unique way. So I was 
researching a little bit about all the scriptures that we have on deliverance in the Bible as a promise to us. So Deuteronomy 23, 14, the Lord your God walks in the midst of your camp to deliver you, to deliver me, to deliver my children, to deliver my husband. Psalm 34, verse 19 says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Second Peter 2 9 says, The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of their temptations. Second Timothy 4 18. Paul writes, The Lord will deliver me from evil work and preserve me from his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever. And of course, Matthew 6 13 this part of the the Lord's prayer and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one amen so in this book that I'm telling you trust God to deliver in his own unique way how does it look like to me like for me for my family for you for yours if we know that God's perspective or deliverance has a different view. And after all, the Bible says that to us. Um, in Isaiah 55, 8, God tells us, my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways. But, but based on biblical truth, we know and shall trust that God will deliver his people from every evil work, from every tribulation, even from death itself. Sometimes the outcome is not what we one to see or to hear. I know when when Paul wrote the Second Timothy four eight eighteen, it was um, very close to the time when he was beheaded, and uh, he said, "The Lord will deliver me from evil work and preserve me from His heavenly kingdom." And that's the way God chose for him to be delivered. And that could look the same for you or for me. We just have to trust. This is a matter of trust. I came to understand that deliverance comes hand to hand with trust and with faith. Um, when all his children were there before the sea, um, the Red Sea, uh, I wonder what they were thinking. I mean, the Lord brought us, brought them all the way there, and now what's going to happen? So God commanded, Mos Moses obeyed, obeyed, and the miracle was made. So there is obedience there too, and, uh, and there is definitely faith. So uh, from now on, on, deliverance is a word that I, I will include in my prayers, no matter what, because I'm sure that you feel the same way like me. Uh, we, sh we have to be delivered. Uh, we need deliverance in every aspect of our lives. That's, I think, when when we hear saying more of you, less of me, I think that's what it is. The Lord continually delivering us from our flesh, helping us to be more like him in his spirit. So this is my Devo. I hope that you will go and visit this chapter and uh, learn more about deliverance. And if you can listen to that book, it's called The Red, the, the Red Sea Rules, uh, 10, 10 Rules. Uh, and it says, the same God that brought you in, it will get you out. It has been pretty good to listen to. It's available again on YouTube for free. So let me close in prayer. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for that word that is mentioned so many times in, in the Bible, Lord, in this book that you have left for us to give us basic instructions before leaving earth, Lord, and deliverance, Lord, is something that comes from you and from you only with your grace with your mercies lord i receive it today i receive it for my family for my son for my daughters for my husband lord for all my unsaved family lord and for my church family as well Lord, i just pray that you will deliver us lord from our own flesh and just allow us to become more like you and i pray all of these things in jesus name amen thank you mm -hmm.